respected judges and delegates my topic is nt pro bnp and tissue doppler in diastolic heart failure under the guidance of dr d rajshekar professor and hod and co guide is dr vanajakshama associate professor so heart failure is a growing worldwide epidemic and lv systolic dysfunction is often considered to be the main abnormality but up to 50% of patients are also are having heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and mortality rates between these two groups are similar so clinical examination cannot distinguish between systolic and diastolic heart failure rather the diagnosis is based on exclusion although doppler echo plays an important role number of studies have shown that transmetal parameters are poorly correlated with filling pressures tissue doppler imaging is a new modality tissue doppler imaging of mitral annular motion may correct for the influence of myocardial relaxation and early diastolic velocity at the annulus e prime has been shown to correlate well with indices of lv relaxation invasive investigations catheterization to measure lv filling pressures are more reliable but they are not useful for widespread clinical implementation for this reason simple and reliable diagnostic criteria for diastolic heart failure are lacking and a rapid non invasive diagnostic test would be of well, high clinical the previous studies have reported bnp and its biologically inactive fragment nt pro bnp may be used for diagnosis of systolic heart failure these are some differences between bnp versus nt pro bnp nt pro bnp is inactive molecule with high molecular weight and longer half life than bnp and main difference is in the clearance mechanism it is predominantly cleared by renal mechanisms nt pro bnp as a general guideline in young healthy adults 90% will have bnp less than 25 picograms per ml and nt pro bnp less than 70 for acutely dyspneic patients suggested cutoffs are bnp less than 100 and nt pro bnp less than 300 and there are several studies establishing the role of bnp for excluding diagnosis of heart failure in patients with acute dyspnea This is one important study, breathing not properly, multinational study published in JAK 2003. It concludes that major role of BNP is in the separation of congestive heart failure from those without congestive heart failure. In another study, Pride study also showed that anti-pro BNP was superior to clinical judgment for diagnosing heart failure. So the aims and objective of this study is to assess the utility of anti-pro BNP in the evaluation of diastolic heart failure isolated in comparison with tissue Doppler. total 60 patients presenting to emergency department with signs and symptoms of heart failure and normal lv systolic function more than 50 em by 2d echo were recruited exclusion criteria were valar heart disease acute coronary syndromes chronic obstructive pulmonary disease atrial fibrillation and renal doppler indices were done with philips ie 33 mission left atrial volume was calculated by standard biplane apical biplane area length method an abnormal value was defined as more than 28 ml per meter square and tissue doppler recordings early late and desolation recorded and pulmonary venous systolic and diastolic and atrial reversal were recorded in some patients with optimal dose and classification of diastolic dysfunction was done according to recommendations by american society of echocardiography measurement of nt pro bnp was done with cobas point of care system from roshi diagnostic switzerland detection range of the assay with this meter is 60 to 9000 picograms per ml and roc curves were constructed to determine the ability of nt pro bnp to identify diastolic dysfunction coming to the results the study group consisted of 60 patients baseline characteristics are as follows most of the patients mean age group is 60.5 to majority are females 34 and most of the patients are having comorbid conditions like diabetes and hypertension as you can see most of the patients are between 60 to 70 years 57% were females most of the patients come under grade 2 diastolic dysfunction this is the distribution of e by e prime ratio in 60 patients 42 patients less than 15 e by e prime ratio and 18 more than 15 and i have compared la volume index grade of diastolic dysfunction and nt pro bnp levels most of the patients were in the la volume index in between 28 ml per meter square as the grade of diastolic dysfunction is increasing mean la volume index also increased with highest values in grade 3 and there is significantly higher values in la volume index more than 35 with mean value of 3745 picograms per ml 
And another correlation between antiprobe and grade of diastolic dysfunction, there are significantly higher values in grade 3 diastolic dysfunction. And anti-probe NP levels in E by E prime ratio more than 15, highest PB anti-probe NP levels of mean around 3028. There is a positive correlation between anti-probe NP levels and E by E prime ratios with significant P value. And diagnostic accuracy of anti-probe NP to diagnose isolated diastolic dysfunction was done by doing ROC curves with significant area under the curve of 0.93. At a cutoff value of 286 picograms per ml, anti-pro BNP showed high sensitivity of 89% and specificity of 100% in diagnosing diastolic dysfunction. This is the ROC curve with a significant area under the curve of 0.9. And logistic regression analysis was done to study the impact of confounding factors like age, sex, diabetes, hypertension. With this logistic regression analysis, only NTBMP has got a significant p-value, less than 0 0.05. Rest all are having more than 0 0.0. So, this study demonstrates the correlation of nt pro bnp with E by prime ratio that has been used as surrogate in estimation of LV filling pressures. This would be especially useful in clinical settings where detailed and complex echo assessments are not possible. And our findings are certainly complementary to a recent, recent consensus statement by Paula et al. published in JAK 2007. And LA volume index is taken because it is a more sensitive index of LA remodeling than LA dimension. And we have observed good correlation between NT pro BNP and E prime, E by E prime ratios. In conclusion, rapid assay for anti pro BNP can reliably detect the presence of diastolic abnormalities on echo. Anti pro BNP levels correlate well with E by E prime ratios, LA volume index, and grade of diastolic dysfunction and can reliably provide estimation of LV filling pressures. And in patients with heart failure and normal systolic function, elevated anti pro BNP levels and diastolic filling abnormalities might help to reinforce the diagnosis of diastolic heart failure. Thank you, sir.